Hello everyone, this is Ravens from DJ Integrity. Welcome to Tech News episode 245. Delhi will only allow CNG and electric power trucks and tempos from November 27th. Diesel and petrol power trucks and tempos will remain banned till December 3rd. School, colleges and government offices are set to resume offline on November 29th. Hero Motocorp's first electric scooter could launch with the Vida branding. Hero Motocorp can't use the Hero brand for any of its upcoming electric vehicles as this brand is owned by Hero Cycles. The first electric scooter from Hero Motocorp could launch by March 2022. TVS Motor Corporation, one of the largest manufacturer of two- and three-wheeler makers in the world. They have been linked a memorandum of understanding with the government of Tamil Nadu for an investment of Rs. 1,200 crore in future technologies and electric vehicles. The MOU was signed in the presence of Chief Minister M.K. Stalin at the Tamil Nadu Investment Conclave 2021 in Coimbatore on Tuesday. In all, around 59 MOUs were signed at the conclave. They involved an estimated investment of over Rs. 35,000 crore and are expected to generate close to 75,000 jobs in the state. Besides TVS Motor, Coimbatore-based electric vehicle manufacturer Boom Motors too have signed an MOU to expand its manufacturing base with an estimated investment of Rs 1000 crore. Acer India and Dixon Technologies come together to make laptops under the Make in India initiative. Acer India via press release stated that factory would have the capacity to produce up to 500,000 laptops annually. The company also stated that the product-linked incentive offered by the government of India is a game-changer that will help increase domestic value addition while turning India into a key export hub. The Caviar team got inspired to expand its visionary collection with the special iPhone 13 Pro and a burst of Elon Musk, both made out of melted-down Tesla car. The Caviar iPhone 13 Pro Max Tesla Electro has a frame made out of titanium with the black PVD coating. This contrasts with the white composite material and the aluminium panel. The material for this panel came from the body of Tesla and features engraving of Musk, the Tesla logo and the car itself. On top of that is a copper insert, a tribute to the coals of electric motor that make such car possible. Only 99 Tesla Electro phones will be made. The base option starts at Rs 6,760 US dollars. A vulnerability in MediaTek chipset allowed third-party application to e-waste drop on users. MediaTek patched the bug in October via an OTA update. No such event of e-waste dropping in MediaTek powered smartphones have been reported as of now. According to the Micromax representative, Micromax is going to launch a new smartphones in India around December 15th. OnePlus 9RT is going to launch in India on December 16th. This device is essentially a renamed OnePlus 9RT for the Indian and global markets. Ahead of the supposed launch, this device has been spotted on the OnePlus Care application. Oppo and OnePlus to join forces to conquer the offline markets in quarter 1 of 2022. Oppo and OnePlus offline distributors are likely to merge in January. This comes in the light of the OnePlus Oppo merger that took place earlier. Poco X4 will launch in India in quarter 1 of 2022. Poco X4 NFC and Poco X4 GT are executed to debut in global markets with the former internal testing has begun already. Poco X4 and X4 Pro models are expected to come in India. Reddit has said that it will shut down video platform Dub Smash on Feb 22, 2022, a little over a year after the social network acquired the platform for an undisclosed amount. Reddit has announced that it would be closing services for the platform next year and the app would not be available for download on Google Play Store and App Store after Feb 22. Redmi Note 11 4G has been launched in China. Its pricing starts at 9.99 Chinese yuan that is around Rs 11,650. The Redmi Note 11 4G could be launched as Redmi Note 10 2022 in India. Oppo has unveiled its Reno 7 series in China with the Reno 7 5G, Reno 7 Pro 5G and the Reno 7 Software Edition 5G. The first sale begins on December 3rd at 10 am for the Reno 7 and Reno 7 Pro and the December 17 at 10 am for the Reno 7 Software Edition. Samsung unveiled its 200 megapixel ISOCELL HP1 camera sensor in September this year. Moto is expected to be the first smartphone brand to use the camera sensor followed by Xiaomi. Samsung will not adopt the camera sensor till 2023. Callers users will be able to greet friends and family with a short video when placing a call. This application will now allow users to record incoming and outgoing calls as well as share these recordings. Two new features has now been announced for Truecaller Premium members. 
Xiaomi's first electric vehicle is on track to launch in the first half of 2024. Xiaomi has confirmed that it has 500 employees working in the electric vehicle segment R&D department. Xiaomi says that it will invest over 100 billion Chinese yuan in the next 3 years in the electric vehicle space. Battleground Mobile India has launched a new campaign for players. The game responsibly campaign will urge players to take care of their health. Crafton has listed six ways in which BGMI help players manage their game life balance. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share and subscribe and follow Digi Integrity on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.